Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, our good buddy Dr. Gap, also known as my lawn guy, has returned to Filthy Cleveland to join us on an amazing ride today. And he seems to think that his beautiful BMW S1000 double R can defeat my super built up 1600cc Suzuki Hayabusa. I think we're gonna find out if that's gonna happen. Regardless of if he beats me or not, we have to admit that the Busa looks amazing and so does Brian's beautiful black S1000 double R. He has the floating rope. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, so, so here's an example of just how tiny and small Dr. Gap is. He's riding my son Aiden's, my 10-year-old son's bicycle. I did the track right here. Oh yeah. Ride that elbow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so that just shows you, man, that these small guys always seem to think that they can put the smack down on me on their semi-butchered. This bike is lowered. You see the swinging arm is pulled all the way to the back. That helps this bike reduce the uh, possibility of doing wheelies when it's pulled back like that. And you can see that it's super slammed. He has the chimney stack forks up here. <laughs> Did you delete your uh, your DDC or is that still active? No, 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 that's still active. Okay. I had to get the Rock Performance rod okay. on there. Show them the floating rotors. Well, I made these both floating. Yeah. So you just take the buttons out, replace mm -hmm. the new buttons. And both of them are floating. And what's the benefit of that? You put that on the front stand, you can spin it, it'll spin seven to ten revolutions wow before it landed one one and a quarter okay yeah ceramic bearings wow fixed with the axle fixed with the brake pad yeah everything makes it makes oh you it have the brake pad pad spreader or whatever it is no i kept the i don't like the springs you have to like double tap the brake yeah if you can for the brake pads a little bit a little less drag on it okay that's pretty good. Nice. But you still have your full brakes, I see. Yeah, you didn't I delete got all them. three. I never taken a brake off again. <laughs> you have straps on it. So he's going to be strapped. The bike's going to be lowered. That's also going to reduce the wheelies and all that. But uh, we take a look at my beautiful Busa. You guys have seen it on the channel before. 1600cc engine has been installed in this bike by my good buddy, Five Up Motorcycles. It has the Bren tuning, ECU flash, and Brendan spent a lot of time on this bike, making sure that my throttle was smooth and that I can take off in first gear, harnessing all of the 272 horsepower that this machine delivers to the rear BST Rapid Tech gloss carbon fiber wheel. This bike is purely savage. Brock's Performance CT Megaphone Exhaust WRS, Moto Million spec windscreen, and lots of other parts on this bike make it absolutely outstanding. Five Up Motorcycles also improved and enhanced and upgraded the braking system on this machine. We now feature a Brembo Master Cylinder from Moto Million. Brembo brake calipers right here and uh, steel braided brake lines so this bike can stop on a dime and it has its complete braking system as well it's not a fair race so i'm too fast for e mm -hmm. so i gotta put um, the diesel fuel in here oh gosh uh, this e85 i'm gonna map just flash it real quick with the bren tuning handheld okay you plug it in flash it for e85 and then you just dump e85 in and how much more power do you think that produces Probably seven, nice. seven to nine more horsepower. Nice. And it do, do, does a lot on 1,000cc bikes like that. The BMWs love E85. Absolutely. They're very, uh, they like the high compression E85. It's much better. Okay. Obviously, MR12 is better. Yes. But E85 is still better than pump gas. Okay. And it's a pretty pretty quick process with the yeah. Brent tuning yeah. flashing you just handheld. Plug it into the OBD2 connector, mm -hmm. load up the map, and hit select, and you're done.
taking Brian around all day. Now we stopped for fuel and he bought a pump from the auto parts store. Where's the pump go? In the trash? In the trash. Yeah, he bought a pump. There it is right there, guys. And he siphoned out all of his fuel. And now he's, had it with the he's headed. Had it. He's filling up with E85. And we'll see how much it takes. I tried to get all the gas out. It should take about three and a half, 3.75 gallons to run there. Okay. What do you think of the beatings I gave you so far? You barely, maybe a wheel. A wheel? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. It's a really good time. The, the GoPro 360 never lies. Uh, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> there we go. 3.8. 3.8. Fill that thing up with that corn husker stuff. There you Give go. Give it a little more. You want more? Yeah, fill that sucker up. I want you to weigh as much as you can. My boost is full. There you go. He's filling it up. Oh, we can get four gallons even. Oh, look at that. Yeah, over four, four gallons. gallons. Look at that, guys. Four gallons of corn husker fuel. Four gallons. E85, also known as flex fuel in the United States. And we'll stroll over to my big bad Busa and we'll see that I filled my tank up too, but with 93. 93. Here we go. Boom, full tank. before the rain started happening and ruined our day of smackdowns on my beautiful 2022 Hayabusa as I'm calling it the super Busa with its 1600 cc engine modified brakes and everything else on this beautiful machine the m2 shock that helps make it stable I mean everything this thing is just totally amazing and beautiful and as you saw just now it's able to hold off a tiny, tiny guy on an S1000 running E85 fuel from smacking me down on these streets. And I'm very, very happy with the Super Busa indeed. And the rest of these bikes are looking amazing also. Stay tuned for a full driveway walk around video of my machines. I think some are missing, maybe not. Maybe they're all here, let me see. One, two, three, six. Yeah, I guess they're all here right now, but we gotta bring them out in the driveway, fire them up, Give you some information about them that video is coming soon but uh yeah man i hope you enjoyed this video of me smacking around my good buddy dr gap on his s1000 double r all right guys stay tuned for more and we will catch you guys next time on the 650e youtube channel that boosa never ceases to amaze me